The Coast Highway Art Collective is honored to host an exhibit celebrating the Point Arena Lighthouse, which has been lighting the way on the Pacific Coast for the past 150 years. In the 1800s, commerce was brisk on the Pacific Ocean. Sailing ships carried lumber to the emerging Bay Area and furs, fish, and other goods from as far away as Alaska. However, the waters along the coast were not safe. Hundreds of ships ran aground on rocky shoals and were shipwrecked. In 1869, the Coast Guard commissioned a much-needed lighthouse to protect shipping. A brick tower was created on the tip of a narrow peninsula which juts out into the ocean north of the town of Point Arena. An oil lantern cast light 18 miles out to sea. When it was too overcast, a foghorn served a warning. The photograph in the background is by Scott Sewell. Join us now for a tour inside the gallery. In order to keep the light working, as many as four light keepers and their families lived on the light station grounds, as seen in this quilted wall hanging by Barbara Fast. This watercolor by Jack O'Rourke shows what the light station may have looked like in 1870. In 1906, a devastating earthquake shook the Pacific coast, and the brick tower and the keepers' homes were too badly damaged. Only the metal lantern room and the staircase, seen in this photo by Pam Powell, remained usable. The tower was rebuilt using reinforced concrete, the first of its kind, and a first-order Fresnel lens was added to the lantern room. The lighthouse reopened in 1908 and has stood proudly ever since. The road that leads to the lighthouse heads west from Highway 1 north of Point Arena. As a corner is turned, the lighthouse can be first seen from a distance. But as one proceeds, the tower looms larger, as seen in these two paintings by C.C. C. Case, Distant Lighthouse, and Stornetta View. The approach is from the southwest, with rugged cliffs on the left side of the road. The image in this painting, Point Arena Lighthouse by Stuart Greenberg, has been photographed and painted many times. In addition to the tower, the red roof buildings were originally made for homes for the lighthouse keepers after the tower was rebuilt, but they now provide lodging for the many tourists who visit the light station. At entry to the grounds, a new rock wall has been created, and the lighthouse can be seen over the tops of the rocks which stand on end, as seen in this photo by Pam Powell, Stones Above the Waves. The lighthouse was created to protect shipping. Ron Bolander has captured its purpose in this large photo titled, The Reason I'm Here, which shows the huge waves and rocks that threaten ships too close to shore. The mighty Pacific Ocean smashes up against the cliffs that surround the lighthouse. If the ocean rises or earthquakes cause a tsunami, the lighthouse could facilitate warning for those who live close to the shore. Other artists have shown the view of the lighthouse from the other side of the peninsula, as in P.T. Nunn's acrylic painting, Lighthouse Bluffs. Bruce Jones watercolor, Lighthouse from the Dunes. And Richard Custer's photo from the north side. Shoreline, an oil painting by Joyce George, depicts the lighthouse as seen from the Manchester Beach State Park.
where driftwood and seaweed becomes art, as in this photo by Roseanne Grunig. Scott Sewell and Scott Schieffo are both widely recognized for their photos of the lighthouse and the surrounding coastline. Roller Derby by Scott Sewell shows the waves crashing up on the cliffs that surround the lighthouse. Sand dunes and seagrass are depicted in Dune Stay, also by Scott Sewell. In Lighthouse Corridor, Scott Schieffo shows the rugged coastal cliffs that lead up to the lighthouse in the distance, and pelicans fly in formation as they skim the lighthouse. Many types of plants and animals can be seen in the vicinity of the lighthouse. Migrating whales are a common sight. Cynthia Myers depicts a gray whale family in her beautiful etched glass bowl. Chris Grisano loves to paint animals seen along the coast. Her Crossing Fort Ross Road oil painting on wood features a quail family. Richard Custer was fortunate to take a photo of a raven feeding her chicks in a nest on the bluffs. Ling Yen Jones is known for her silver jewelry, which often features a crane, as seen in Come Fly With Me, shown here with a flying crane bracelet. Abalone thrive in the cold waters of the Pacific, and colored glass, which has been worn by water, can be found on the beaches. The Abalone Queen, Deb Drelkel, features both in her jewelry, as seen in this necklace called Abalonia. Imaginary animals also inspire artists. Charles Ross carved a sea dragon from old growth redwood. Art Dreyer, who is known for his canes, saw a kraken, a mythical octopus in an old huckleberry root. The kraken crutch, which is heavily bejeweled, is suspended in its own cage. Hardy trees survive despite often brutal winds. Along the Water's Edge by Andrea Allen is a gicle print on rice paper derived from the Chinese brush painting for which she is known. Flowing silk reminds us of almost ever-present wind. Artist Siobhan paints on silk as seen in this unusual view of the lighthouse and in the scarves for which she is known. Another design by Siobhan. Brenda Phillips often uses colors of the sea and sky in her ceramic art, which is both beautiful and functional. Deborah Caperton creates assemblage with vintage materials that reflect nautical themes. In Lost Treasure, an old opium box contains a magnified map and a compass that spins. In What Lies Beneath, an old oil can becomes the setting for a pearl. Since the lighthouse stands tall with nothing surrounding it, it is often featured with celestial bodies. Monthly full moon tours are popular. Peter Siddell's photo of Moonset at Arena Light is striking. The unframed image is enclosed in glass. Paul Kozel, one of the preeminent photographers in Mendonoma, was fortunate to photograph the lighthouse backlit by a Perseid meteor. The Perseid meteor showers occur every summer. One can imagine that a similar image has occurred many times in the last 150 years.
We hope that you have enjoyed this exhibit showing how the Point Arena Lighthouse has inspired the many artists who live in this area. We hope that the Lighthouse will continue to light the way on the Pacific Coast for many decades to come.